how, how do you get on Dana White's bad side? You get, you get on my bad side by not being honest, uh, not being a stand-up guy. You know, I, I can deal with anybody as long as they're stand-up. And listen, and you've seen in the past, we all make mistakes. People are going to make mistakes. And when you make the mistakes, it's, it's how you handle yourself after you make that mistake. Do you come clean? Are you honest? Uh, you know, do, do, do you say, listen, I, I, I messed up and I made a mistake. We're all humans, man. We're going to make mistakes. It's how you handle yourself after you make that mistake. You once said, uh, quote, I'd say one of the best things about me is how aggressive I am, and it's also probably the worst. How so? It's true. I think the aggression has got us to where we are today, and the aggression has, you know, has got me in some trouble sometimes, too. In what ways? Many ways. I mean, you know, I, I'm pretty much... I mean, aside from, like, the comment you make about somebody that's blowing yeah, well, up. That's I, it. I, mean, I mean, aside from I that. Mean, I mean, I'm, I'm so aggressive that... It's, it's great in, in, in certain aspects of your life and business. And, and, and other times you're, you're a little too aggressive and, and you might, and I say whatever I want to say. I don't filter. I don't, uh, nobody, my PR people don't tell me what to say. I'm their biggest nightmare. I'm their Twitter, biggest nightmare. I'm their biggest nightmare. You know, but it's, it's really the way that this company is, has been built and it just is what it is. I'm just one of these people that feels like, come on. I grew up, and so did you, and so did everybody in this room, and so did everybody watching. Watching these people come out with these canned statements, whether it was a guy in sports, a guy in business, they come out with a canned statement that 15 lawyers got together and wrote, and, and you know it. You know it when that guy's reading that paper and when he's saying it. You know what you get with me. If I said it, I mean it, and that's it. We're all adults here. And yes, I swear, and things like that. So do you, and so do they when they're home cares. I don't care. How would you describe your work ethic? <laughs> my, my work ethic is different. I, I'm obviously one of the owners. Plus, I love this. I love it. It's, it's what uh, I would be. In, if this wasn't happening right now, I'd be in the fight business anyway. This is what I love to do. I made this decision when I was 19 years old. So it's kind of tough talking about my work ethic because there, for me, there's no days off. There's no holidays. I'm on the phone Christmas Day. What used to drive me crazy when we were building this company, you know, we, we, we do deal a lot with entertainment. You know, we, we're, we're on television. We're in the pay-per-view business, um, and the list goes on and on. DVDs, you name it. We're in every bit of the entertainment business as anybody else in any other business. Around Christmas time, Hollywood shuts down from December 12th, and they don't come back till like a week after uh, uh, New Year it used to drive me insane. It felt like you couldn't get anything done. So when these big major holidays come, all these other people that take holidays and they're on vacation, we don't. We keep right on crank and keep working. We're on the phone every day. Christmas Day, I'm doing stuff. What do you do though when you've just worked and worked and worked and worked your point? You worked yourself to the point where you can't work anymore and need to just clear your mind. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, going gambling for an hour in the casino. <laughs> I, I mean, just like really clear your mind. What, what do you do? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you ever really clear your mind because I, the, the reality is I have kids too. So the time that I don't spend working, you know, where I'm not physically working, I'm with my kids hanging out with my kids. I, I do two things. I work and I hang out with my kids. And anybody who has kids knows there's never any really downtime. I am, when I... I devote so much time and energy to this. When I'm with my kids, I'm their slave. I do whatever they want me to do, whatever they tell me to do, wherever they want to go, I am their slave. I do whatever they want to do. So th there's never any real, and, and when I am with the kids, I am on the phone too. You know, the phone rings and there's stuff that needs to be dealt with. So there is no real downtime. Going on vacation, hanging out with them. My, my, my oldest son is a quarterback. He plays football now. I love watching him practice. I love watching him play. And, and anything that my kids are into, I like watching what they do.